5.1 magnitude earthquake now downgraded to 4.8 but a high magnitude earthquake at Santorini again and if you look at that map these are the earthquakes of the last 10 days and the interesting thing is this looks like the earthquake swarm that has rattled this massive massive earthquake swarm that has rattled Santorini in February and what do you think guys is this repeating again I said in my last video that scientists believe this could be a cycle and we could see the next one right now. Is magma coming out of the magma chamber underneath Santorini again? Santorini is a crater. The whole island is the top of a caldera. And there's a volcano underneath, a very, very dangerous volcano underneath. So we could have a volcanic eruption eventually someday but we could also see right now a seven point something magnitude earthquake again like they already had in the 50s and 60s so what is this what is going on i want to show you the epicenters because we had way more earthquakes not just this one in the higher ranges also directly on the crater on santorini and we're approaching summer tourist season in europe may there's some spring holidays some spring vacations that people have so this is approaching the main tourist season and i am sure they were hoping that everything stays quiet and calms down and now this i am not surprised but somewhat still it's shocking to see these big ranges again accompanied by more earthquakes again Again, you look at the map, it looks like how the swarm looked in February. I'll give you the other picture here to compare. So it's still the same area. And the reason was a magma intrusion, one or even more magma intrusion from the magma chamber underneath Santorini. There was too much pressure in the shallow magma chamber. And then the magma started to get out. Fortunately, not upstairs to cause an eruption but it was leaking out creating these magma dikes and there's lots of other fault lines there's the Columbo underwater volcano that could produce devastating tsunamis that is also showing signs of unrest, unrest land rise and fumaroles and there's a land rise underneath Santorini underneath Nea Kameni so something's going on so is this the preparation for the next big event that would completely destroy their summer tourist season? And guys, really, I want you to look at that map here. I clicked on like earthquakes in the last seven days and look at this, but also look at here at Santorini at the crater and the bigger the circle, the bigger the earthquake. So check this out. When I look at this, a 3.0, guys, that is significant. This is not something minor. We're into something bigger here. Depth, 8 kilometers. So could this be related to this magma chamber that is underneath this crater here, Nea Kameni? And then look, let's look at the other earthquakes. We have one here. Only 0 0.8, but that doesn't matter. Something's there. Something could be flowing. Is there a magma flowing underground? Magnitude 1.6, May 11th. And then right on top of the island, so to speak, let's click this one. 2.4, guys. 12th, just yesterday. And then here, 0 0.7, okay, but it's still there. And then this one, 0 0.2. And then there's some other ones around that. They're in the micro seismic range, but 1.4. But again, as, as I want to point out, this looks exactly how it looked in February, if you compare it. And it doesn't get any better if I go to the last 48 hours. We still see the same scheme. Look at this. The majority of these earthquakes happened in the last 48 hours and the bigger ones that you see here this is the recent one 4.6 that some had at 5.1 but it doesn't matter this is significant and then we have one here 2.9 and then we have one here 2.5 and we have one here 2.5 
and this one, 2.5, and another 2.5. So we're not talking about one that is out of the ordinary and then calm again. This is, in my opinion, a new trend. And we see the other blue ones, if they allow me, 2.0. That's also significant. On the 13th, that's just happening right now. And then let's go here. It's hard to look this up when you see this here. Let's point my finger. 1.7. So these are all not super small. 2.6. 1.3. What is going on? And then let's look at the last 24 hours. Let's zoom in. Doesn't get much smaller. It's still there. And again, in the last 24 hours, we had the big one. And we had another big one and another big one and another big one. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. In February, something between six to 9,000 residents have fled the island in panic and precautions were also ordered on the nearby Aegean Sea Islands. All of them popular summer vacation destinations. What scientists are trying right now, they're trying to pinpoint when a huge eruption will threaten this idyllic Greek island. But also the earthquakes are a big enough threat already. We've heard from experts, from building experts and studied scientists that said, if you have to go to Santorini, stay away from the cliffhanger resorts and hotels because many of them are either built illegally or not built to code and then you have these pools filled with water very very heavy heavy right on our cliff with unstable volcanic rock these are not mountains these are volcanic matter this is a crater this is the top of a crater so through that continuous rattling we could see landslides and all the buildings could come down the hill. They have built more on top of the other one and on top of the other one. So some areas could be unstable. And if there's a bigger earthquake, there is risk. Because when the last big earthquake hit them in 59, there was not that much development on the island. And this island has more than 3 million visitors every year. We will have to see if that's the case this year. But people were already starting to come back because everyone was hoping, yeah, it has rattled in February, but now it's quiet. And the leading scientists that are trying to find out when there is the next catastrophe in the works for Santorini said in an interview just recently, it's a bit like out of sight, out of mind in terms of understanding the danger of Santorini because you don't see it. You think it's a nice, beautiful looking island, you know, compared to more famous volcanoes like Vesuvius, for example, a stratovolcano that is clearly visible and you see the crater and you see the steam coming out and fumaroles. And the researchers make clear, we know more about the surface of some other planets than what we know what's going down there at Santorini, for example. And they say not, right now, they're trying to map the hydrothermal system to find out what is going on. So this is not surveilled like Vesuvius or Campi Flegre, for example, so that they really have a better understanding. And Campi Flegre is getting a new study almost every day, which is not the results are not good. It's, it's getting more dangerous the more they learn about Campi Flegre. So this lacks here in Santorini big time. So they're basically kind of driving blind here by estimating what could happen and when. And that's not good if you're sitting on an island with so many tourists. And they're saying, you know, mapping the hydrothermal system of, of Santorini, of this underwater area, it's not like mapping a hydrothermal system on land. It's very, very difficult. They say we have to look inside the earth. And they're making it clear. Underwater volcanoes are capable of really big, really, really big destructive eruptions and the earthquakes and the tsunamis. And what they're saying is, quote, we are lulled into a false security if you're used to small eruptions, which Nea Kameni has produced in the 50s, 
and the volcano acting safe. But can we really say that the volcano is still acting safe after what has happened in February? I mean, many didn't believe it at first. They said that's purely tectonic. I said from the beginning, hey, guys, this looks like a magma intrusion. That's the same thing that we've just seen in Iceland. But the scale at Santorini with these earthquakes was absolutely crazy. So if you look at this map, I'll show you another map here. The bigger the circle, the bigger the earthquake. And what you see there is just the earthquakes of the last 24 hours. That is kind of crazy, right? I, I always like to go to that map as well because it, it gives us a little bit more than I mentioned of the earthquakes. And if you click at the big circles, I mean, we do have more earthquakes, 2.5. 2. Point something, 2.5, 2.5. And also, if you look at the caldera of Santorini at the crater, also there. And that's what is concerning. And I think something's going on. We can't say that these are aftershocks from the event that has happened in February, all February. They're that big again. So something new is happening. Is there still tension from the magma intrusion? Are there neighboring little fault lines that might be activated that might cause these earthquakes? I don't know, but my suspicion is since, and I've said it a few weeks ago already, since we're seeing more earthquakes also now right on top of Santorini where the magma chamber is, it's underneath. I am really raising the question, are the scientists right that said this is the next cycle similar to what is happening in Iceland. What is happening in Iceland since November 10th, 2023. Magma chambers building up pressure, is filling up, and then magma gets out, mostly in an eruption in Iceland, but also there's been two intrusions. So is this the same here? Some scientists say yes, we could be repeat. So are these earthquakes underneath Santorini a sign of increased tension or is magma already flowing out again? It remains to be seen what is going to happen the next few days if these earthquakes will increase again, if there's more or if it's calming down. So guys, I hope this was interesting for you guys, but also check out the videos in the end screen. I've made some very, very interesting videos about stuff that you should really know. And I think you might be very interested in that. And also the new Campi Flegre study where they have found a weak point in the Campi Flegre area where magma can reach the surface. This is groundbreaking and they were shocked. The scientists said, wow, we did not expect this to find such a weak rock layer, a weak spot. It's just in un one area and, and unfortunately right in that area where we would see the next eruption and where we see the epicenters of these earthquakes. So that video is in the end screen. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, become a supporting member of the channel. You can buy me coffees on my buymeacoffee.com slash silky website. Link is in the description. Thanks for doing that, guys. I hope you're all prepared and safe. And I see you very soon, guys. I think I just have a feeling that I might give you an update about Santorini, unfortunately, very soon. Take care. Bye.